Hello there, team. Hey, this is Joe Wazoo here. Hey, uh, since Windows is updated to uh, version 11 or 25, whatever it keeps automatically updating to, uh, you might have a problem running Crimson 2.0 or Crimson 2.1 for panel meters. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'll just show you what I got here on my PC. If I go to run Crimson 2.0 or 2.1, watch this here. And of course, my laptop is updated to, I think, Windows 11. But here, I got Crimson 2.0. So if I go run this, watch, you're going to get this air, okay? And also, let me do the same thing with Crimson 2.1, because that's what I'm really trying to run here for a panel meter configuration. So if I go down here and, and I've already got Crimson 2.1, same air there. So here's the fix for the air. On your PC, you're going to search for a CTL3D32.dll. You're going to find it in this directory here. Now, I'm going to copy this directory and hopefully put that down in the uh, comments section of the video. So you should be able to copy from there and then open up Explorer and find the, the go to that directory. Now, this directory is, is a system directory, so you may need to have uh, administrative rights, which leads for fun times for you with your uh, IT guys. Anyway, so here's the file. What we need to do is we need to copy this file. So I'm going to right click here where I found it. I'm going to copy it from there. And then on my laptop, I'm going to go to another directory called the C Windows, this one right here. Now there's a bunch of files in here, and but that file is not in here. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste this right here. Boom. Again, you might need to have administrative rights. So I happen to have that, which I'm lucky. I'm going to go ahead and continue. I'm going to paste that file in this directory again. I'm going to copy this directory here and put that down in the comments of the video. And then once I do that, I should be able to go over here and fire up Crimson 2.0. Bam! Look at that. Operates just as I want. And if I go over here and open up Crimson 2.1, that was the real goal of this video. Let's go down here to Crimson Redline Controls, Crimson 2.1 for panel meters. Bam! There it is. Problem solved. All good in the neighborhood. There's Crimson 2.0, 2.1. And of course, if I want to pick a panel meter that I want to play with, I go to town. That, I believe, folks, is the solution to the latest problem people are having with some older software and the newer uh, PCs. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. See you later.